Welcome back to Speed Sport Magazine right here on MAV TV. We're joined in the house by Chris Bell, USAC Nationals Midget Champion. How's the program going this year? You know, this year we've been uh, having really good runs in the Keith Keynes Motorsports number 71. Uh, just really fortunate to be hooked up with Keith and uh, had a really good last year and this year has turned out to be good so far. And the schedule, how many races are you going to run this year? Uh, you know, the USAC schedule, I believe, is around 20 to 25 races. And then as well with uh, a couple power eye races, so we're looking at about 40 midget races this year. Just midgets? How about some sprint cars, different engine sizes? What do you got going? Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm going to mix in some wing sprint car stuff in there. And uh, I've already ran a couple non-wing sprint car races. So uh, a total of the year, probably going to look around 120. So uh, it's going to, I'm really looking forward to it. And all of it's open wheel, nothing with a fender on it yet. Not yet, not yet. Nothing planned as of now, but uh, if I get an opportunity, I definitely love to hop in. How would you go about doing that? Would you look to go maybe to an ARCA to step up to a, a truck series and then the nationwide, or are you looking at something completely different? Uh, you know, I, I really don't know, honestly. It uh, just whatever comes my way and whatever opportunity uh, I may get, I'd, I'd love to, to just drive something different. Obviously, you have Toyota and the logo on the shirt there, and, and they have involvement in the Midget Series, but they also have a lot of involvement as you move on into NASCAR. Are, are you looking to go with them all the way up? Are they talking to you about that? You know, I've been really fortunate to be hooked up with the Toyota guys, and uh, they're currently working on some stuff, but uh, nothing, nothing finalized yet. So uh, just going week by week, race by race, and uh, attempting to race as much as I can. Coming through the ranks of USAC has worked really well for a lot of big name race car drivers. We've chronicled that over the years. There was a period there where it kind of shut down though, and now it seems to kind of have started back up with Kyle Larson being the first one to make the foray into NASCAR. How important is it for you and the potential growth of your career to have Kyle be successful? It, uh, it's definitely helped me out. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely opened up some doors because I think the NASCAR world is realizing how good Kyle is and uh, you know, it's, it's just a matter of me trying to follow in his footsteps and, and not screw it up and, and run it good as much as I can. And uh, one of Kyle's biggest advantages was that he was able to win in everything he got into. And uh, that's just what I try and focus my, or put my focus into is winning races. What if Kyle levels off now? Does that become a problem for you? Do they start to say that maybe these open wheel guys can't do it when they get to Sprint Cup? Uh, you know, it, it, I, I don't really think that has effect on it because, uh, you know, by the likes of Tony Stewart and Casey who have all cut their teeth in the open wheel cars, it, uh, I think that they've really proven that uh, they give you good habits and, and it really can lead on to the stock car stuff. We have you, we have Rico, we have a whole bunch of other guys back here in the USAC ranks that are all showing some great potential. Who do you look at? If you're going to be the next one to go through, who do you think is going to come behind you and come along? Uh, you know, like me and Rico are, are pretty good buddies, and uh, I, I guess it's not really a matter of who goes first, but uh, I really like Rico and, and, and really uh, respect him, and I think he'll be uh, one of the guys right up there with me. Why would you not consider maybe going to Indianapolis, an open wheel competition, or even say to Formula One or, or something on an international level? Uh, Where you, are you? you? Well, you know, I, uh, I'd i love to. I'd love to do whatever whatever opportunity I get. Uh, I'm just, just living my dream right now, getting to race cars for a living, and uh, whatever opportunity I get uh, is a plus for me. If I said to you, what is the ultimate dream, what would you tell me it is? Uh, to race for a living, and, and right now I'm, do, I'm getting to do that. So uh, anything above this level right now is a plus, and, and I'm looking forward to whatever challenges may come. When you talk about racing and the passion you have for it, what does it do for you? you? You say this is your dream. Where do you get the excitement from racing? Winning races. That's, uh, that, that's the ultimate goal. And, and it, it doesn't matter if I'm running a go-kart that night or at a rental go-kart that track or that night or uh, in a sprint car. It's just I want to win races and that's what I get my enjoyment out of and uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Great. Well, we'll have a little bit more with Chris when we come back. Now, still to come on Speed Sport Magazine, we'll continue this conversation with this USAC hotshot, and we'll find out why midgets and sprints are a good place to learn how to become a racing star. And a little later, we'll meet one of the most successful super modified racers of all time, the king of the steel palace, Oswego's Auto Center. Since 1934, National Speed Sport News has been America's motorsports authority. Every month, Speed Sport Magazine comes alive with stunning photography, insightful commentary, and in-depth features. You will get the full story with Speed Sport Magazine. To start your home delivery of America's Motorsports Authority, log on to nationalspeedsportnews.com and hit the big yellow subscribe button. Be the fan in the know. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com and click subscribe.